today we're at Kilgore, in Kilgore at the Big Head Creek Mountain Bike Trail. And we set up a route that's about four miles long. Um, this is the kickoff in a series called the 5x5. Five five. And what I do is I choose five local trails. And actually last, last year we did six. We did six trails, there was a bonus one. Um, and I come up with a route that's five miles or less. And I challenge people to do anywhere from one to five loops that day on that trail. So five by five by five, because it's five trails. Um, and uh, today we've got a little over 40 riders out here, but we've had as many as 90 at one of the ones we had last year. So it uh, depends on the weather. So today we actually got really great weather for it and um, you know what people are doing and uh, like to introduce them to a different trail. Maybe it's a trail they haven't ridden before or it might be their favorite trail, but either way, it's a great way to come out and get to know the trail. Um, in a kind of safe uh, environment. It's not a race, it's just a fundraising event. Although a lot of people when they get on that, the go time, they, they're in race mode and they go out there and, and do it as a practice or a practice run, a practice race. Yeah, so uh, like I said, it's not a race, but we do take donations and people sign a waiver. Uh, the donations go to help with the trail maintenance, uh, which is sometimes just the gas for a string trimmer or a leaf blower. Maybe it's for uh, materials to help build bridges or do some other features on the trail. So the money goes right toward the trails. Um, so for today, this, this is a Kilgore Trail, City of Kilgore, and the money will go toward this trail. Um, and then when we have uh, the subsequent events, because there's five events in the series, the money goes directly toward those trails. Uh, part of the IMBA chapter and IMBA's motto is, we're, as, a, as a group, we're, as a chapter, we're all about the trails. And we feel it's very important for people to have outdoor spaces for recreation. And having city trails or local trails to do that, state park trails, um, is important so that people just have venues that they can get outside and enjoy nature that is really interacting with nature. and and try new sports, whether it's hiking or biking or whatever they're doing. So really just having these spaces locally is a great way for people to be able to get to know their city or their region and have a great experience out there. Great experiences on local trails. More places closer to home is the current motto of uh, IMBA and their um, slogan. So this is about a four mile trail that they're riding today. Um, it starts out pretty flat and follows along the creek, but there's a lot of leaves on the ground, so they do have to be careful of slick leaves, especially on bridges if they take them too fast. There are a couple of creek crossings, so they go down and through the creek and back up really fast. A um, little bit of climbing out there. There's one hill, but they're going up and down that hill a few times. Um, we do put cones so that they bypass any drops or jumps or any of those technical type features, but there aren't a lot of roots and rocks and other technical features on this particular trail. So it is a fast and fun trail for people to ride. Uh, pretty much of all abilities, I think. This also helps promote some of our local bike shops who kind of get in on the action and help us with sponsorship. So today's event is being co-hosted by Pfluger's Bike Shop in Longview, and so they've donated a table of swag. Uh, since it's not a race, we don't have podiums and trophies, but everybody who comes, their bib number, because they do get a bib, and we do have chip timing that was provided by iTry 365 Timing Company, but Pfluger's has donated a table full of goodies, and so each of those bib numbers is entered in a raffle and I pull numbers and tag items and so everybody before they leave today checks the table and they might win something. There's honestly really good chances uh, with 40 something people here, there's probably 30 people are gonna get some goods, you know, and if they don't this week, maybe next week will be their week 